How's it going guys? What's up guys? Welcome back to Genshin Impact. We're gonna continue on with our main story. And I'm downloading a series at the moment. It's called All of Us Are Dead. And uh, it's kind of trending. And uh, a bit of my friends are watching it. And I haven't watched it. And it's all about zombies and shit. And I will watch it when I'm done. Where am I downloading it? Well, somewhere pirate. You know how I am. <laughs> Always with the pirates and shit because we're poor. We steal shit from websites and people. That's just how it is with your poor. Amazing. I am almost done loading. Amazing. We are now AR29, almost AR20. Because I was doing commissions earlier and I was trying to do the event and shit. This one, you don't need to see that shit, but it's shit that I do for free, my gems. Do I have I also claim this as well. We are gonna get uh, five more on day seven. We need more, two more days. And uh, oh, I haven't claimed my adventure rewards. Let's go do that shit. Do you hear me talking to you? Cross the water, cross the deep blue ocean and daddy open sky. Oh my baby, I'm trying. All right, sorry about that. I just, I was just feeling it, you know, singing and shit. It's beautiful. It's nice. Ad Astra Abyssosk, welcome to the adventure. It's been a long time since we heard that shit. It feels, ni it sounds nice. Uh, anyway, let's continue on with our main quest. It, the, 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 the floating palace. We're gonna go talk to uh, fucking Ningguang. The mysterious me. The mysterious emission, emissary Ganyu appeared before you at the third round knockout, claiming you have come at Ningwa's behest. She invited you to the skyfaring palace known as the Jade Chamber. To that end, you and Paimon have come to Mount Qianheng from where you can see the Jade, cham Jade Chamber in a distance. Alright, if you're wondering why I'm in Mondstadt, it's just that uh, Mondstadt feels like home, you know? And Liyue feels like a... A tourist spot or some shit. Alright, let's go here and then let's unlock this and then let's go there. Let's do that shit. So yeah, it that just... It, Liyue feels like a tourist spot and Mondstadt feels like home. It's like it's like that's where we were born shit. Alright, uh, we are here. We are continuing. What is that on there? Oh, the camera thing. Oh shit, I'm lagging. Oh, the music. Oh. Alright, let's go up there. Are we gonna go uh, where we were like hunting Coco Gut and shit? The music. Oh. Oh, where am I going? Oh, here. I'm tired. Let's talk to this guy. Yuki, you. Yiko, hello, can I help? Shouldn't you be working at right? How dare you? I'm taking a brief moment, much needed respite from a hectic schedule, that's all. <laughs> Hardly my fault if you didn't see me while I was hard work now, just it, is it? Well, you do have a point. Exactly, right? Life is brutish and short, working hard every day is fine and all, but is it worth it? Rather than sacrifice everything on the altar of work, like my colleagues, isn't it better to take breaks like this? Life is long, why the rush and the chase? So you should relax too. So you should relax too. Sit here, take a break, have some tea, try some, try some, try some of these fried radish balls. Enjoy your life rather than suffer it. Amazing. Wise words from Yukio. Yuko. I don't know what's his name again? God damn it, I forgot already. Alright, let's go but let's let's go up fuck. We gotta do some climbing again. Time uh, to act. Uh where Oh the music bro. Uh... Oh let's unlock this teleport thingy up here. Uh what? There's a quest here? I don't see it. Where am I going, bro? How do I get up there? Oh, the fucking dog again, Jesus. Alright, let's go there and then maybe... I don't know, I guess we go here and then climb up from there. To where we were. Yeah. Oh, the music. Uh, how do I get up there? That answered my question. And then we go there and then we go up there. Okay, amazing. You get it? Oh, the music. <laughs> mm. 
best part about climbing Leo is the music. You get to enjoy it, you know. Okay, am I in full audio right now? I want to know. Yes, good. Enjoy the audio, guys. Genshin has the fucking... God damn. Sounds so beautiful. The tower, I mean the... Statue of the Seven is there. I can just jump there. Unlock this area. But we gotta go focus with our main story. How the fuck am I gonna get there, Jesus? Oh god, I need to... Oh god, that's a big mountain, bro. Alright, let's cross. What is that guy doing? There's someone there. What the fuck are you doing there, dude? Let's talk to this guy. Who's this? <gasps> I remember this guy. Childish Chan. So bored. Needs someone to play with. What are you up to? Mom and dad don't have time to come home and play with me. So I have to play here all by myself. Look at him, he's like an adult and shit. But it's so boring playing with only one person. Also, I can't stray too far from home. Otherwise, mom and dad won't be able to find me when they got back. And they start worrying. Do you want to play with me? We can play hide and seek. It's really easy. Anyone can play it. <laughs> Alright. Sure, I love that game. Yay! Alright, let the game begin. But give me a sec first. I haven't thought where to hide. Okay, I got it. Eh, you'll never find me. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, uh, on your marks. Get ready. Let's go. <laughs> Childish Jam. God damn it. Where the fuck is this guy? So we gotta find him in a minute or some shit. Uh, huh, how do we find him? We gotta climb up. Oh god, oh god. Uh, okay. Uh, climb up. Uh, we got one minute, bro. We got one minute. We only got a minute. We only got a minute. How did that guy, f like, climb all the way up here? Where is he? Oh god, am I gonna fail this shit? Where are you, Jang? Where is he? Where the fuck's that idiot, bro? Jang? Jang? I don't see him. Do you guys see him? Oh god, he's really good at this. Where is he? Jang? Oh no, I lost. I lost. Shit, I lost. Where is he? Fuck you, Wanda. <laughs> Where were you? He told you to never find me. Then I... Well, since it's your first time playing, I'll give you a little clue. I'm hiding behind the rock. You gotta look harder. Wanna carry on playing? What? Alright, he's hiding behind the rock. What rock? Childish Jian. Behind a rock. Behind a rock. Or maybe this <gasps> I see his head! <laughs> you bitch! What? I didn't see him here! What? Ah, oh, you found me! Was it that obvious? It was pretty obvious. I saw your head. Really? How could that be? When I had hair, even my father couldn't find me. Well, we've only just begun. We've only just begun. I haven't used my pole power yet. Let's play! This time, I'm gonna hide the best fighting place to ever find me. Okay. So he hides behind rocks and some sh shit. Oh, don't, there are monsters here. Maybe he's behind a tree or something. Oh god, where is he? What? Why is my character stopping out of nowhere? Where is he? Jesus, I can't find him. Jang, can you give me a clue, Jang? I'm not good at this game, aren't I? <laughs> Jang... I don't see him. Did you guys see him? So how can a fat guy hide that fucking... What the fuck? Am I gonna lose? Okay, uh, this is the first time I'm like, I don't know what to do with this shit. Oh god. Where is he? I don't see him. What the fuck? Give up? Mm, okay, okay, trees around here. Let's have another round. You'll definitely be able to find me this time. You wanna carry on playing? I was looking at the trees. I didn't see him. This guy's good at hiding. What the? What? I didn't. You were not there. Shut up, Jang. I look. 
He's so obvious there. Look. See? There's no way, bro. I look there. I swear. Hey, you found me. <laughs> well, I was hidden or what? This is my secret hiding place. Even mommy can't find me. That tree doesn't hide you completely. I know, right? I didn't see him and shit. I don't believe you. I'm time as this tree is perfectly. Even daddy says so. My dad's really tall and it even hides him. There's no way it could hide him but not me. Anyway, I guess you're really good at this game. Let's play again. Hmm. This time I'm gonna hide way out of sight. Just know the place daddy picked it for me. My dad is a middle lift and he says that there's no one better than him at being stealthy. Every time we play hide and seek before, mommy can never ever find me and daddy until daddy comes out on purpose. Or if mommy yells at him to come out, that works too. <laughs> but you won't find me this time. Okay. I can't find him. Uh, how can a fat guy hide so fucking good? I don't get it. I need to go to high ground. I can't fucking find this guy. What is... I feel like he's in the house or some shit. I can't find this guy, dude. Like, he was in a rock, and then he was in a tree. So... What's up? What do you think of my daddy's special choosing hiding place? Pretty well hidden, right? <laughs> It wasn't hard. It was pretty hard to find. See, see, whenever me and daddy hide here, mommy can never find us and always has to tell us to come out. Daddy's even hidden a lot of cool healer, little snacks, wine, even some mora. Daddy says I'm not supposed to tell mommy about that part though. But then this one time daddy was leaving the house, he went and told mommy about all the places where he was hiding stuff anyway. But whatever, some of the stuff that goes on between mommies and daddies isn't meant for kids to understand. Let's keep playing, shall we? Okay, this time I'm gonna go to my ultimate hiding place. You'll never find me there. Okay. So he hid in a rock on a tree and behind his house. Where could be he be hiding now? Oh god, where is he? I can't. Oh god. Above the tree or some shit? There's a ghost there. Where is this guy? Is he above? Could he be above? Three, two, oh god, am I supposed to lose here? What the fuck? What? You were there? I'm hiding by the cliff. Look carefully. Give it another go. What? Hiding by the cliff. What cliff? What cliff? Junk? What's the thingy here? Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. I see his head. I see his head. I see you, fatty. Childish Jang. You found me. <laughs> Looks like this was the kind of, kind of hard work for you. It was a little tough. Yes, it was. <laughs> well, this is the ultimate hiding place after all. It's normal that fighting it was a challenge. My even mommy's never found this place. One day she suddenly said to want to play the hands with me, with me and as a hider, and her as the seeker. So I went to a special hiding place that daddy once told me about, and sure enough, she didn't find me at all. And then I heard loads of people waking, walking up the mountain. I thought it must have been mommy getting all her friends to help look for me, so I hid even further inside. After a few days, she still hadn't found me. I thought she might be worried. And I was also a little hungry, so I came out, but she still didn't find me. Maybe mommy got mad because I was so well hi hidden and she couldn't find me. Still, I'd have thought that mommy and daddy would have found me by now, after such a long time. So he was hiding all his life, waiting for his mom and dad. But anyway, thank you for playing with me so long. <gasps> Those two corpses, I mean tablets. Mommy and Daddy always said I shouldn't take up too much of other people's time and that when I get somebody to do something for me, I should always repay them. Here we go, take this. They're from the hiding place that Daddy picked up for me. This one time, a guy brought me some food for me and I wanted to repay him too, but he wouldn't take it. I have no idea why. Okay, I'm going home. You can carry on with your stuffs now. 
Ready Player Zero. Oh, shit. Okay, so the story behind this guy is that uh, he, uh, a treasure, a horde of treasure hoarders came into his house and like his mom and dad was there and you know hiding head and seek and this is them Xiaoyan's tomb and Du Yan's tomb the Samson is done recording the dates of birth the death of the kid the seas as well as some details about their life it's one of the excellent condition there's a smell of the wine in the air someone has cleaned his tomb stone recently and also made an offering of wine the writing of stones now, birth, death, disease, life, it's in excellent condition. There must have been some flower petals scattered around. Someone must have come and paid their respects. That's the jade chamber right there. We're gonna go there and uh, yeah. That's a really sad fucking story. It's just one of the sad story in Liyue. This is the ghost of his parents. That's one. Oh, we can definitely write this off as incidental gains. I don't know where the other one is. All right, let's uh, continue on with our main story, guys. We were crossing a mountain, if I remember correctly. There, okay. Wait, right, can I? Can I wish? That fucking story made me sad, bro. Ah, <sighs> shit. He was waiting all his life playing a game, waiting for his mom and dad. Childish jam. God damn it. Where am I going? How am I gonna get up there normally, bro? I'm not gonna reach that. Shut up, fucking enemies. Let's see if I can, um. If there's a way here. Oh, there's a teleport thingy there. I really need to go up here. Holy shit. Alright, let's unlock this teleporty thingy here. The Jade Chamber. The only flying shit that we see, you know? There was no flying shit in Inazuma. This, however, Ning Wang's place. That's Jesus. Huh? Damn. Look at that shit. Beautiful. Oh, there's something here. Okay, let's kill this guy. Childish Jang. Never forget. Alright, am I gonna reach that? I think I am. I am gonna reach it because I'm awesome. Trust me, I'm a genius. <gasps> oh my god, I almost fell down. Oh, bada 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 bada. If you run out. Oh, what just happened? Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! That's pretty high up. How do we get up there? Uh, you, you can just drag me up, Paimon, and fly. Oh uh, shit, sorry. But Byron doesn't know where the way up to the J Chamber is. <laughs> okay, you're only realizing that we should have should have asked that. Yeah, Ganya, yeah. Coco Me Girl, Coco Me well, Coco Goat, Coco Me. Since we wanna go to the J Chamber, my butt hurts. Heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. I Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Oh no! Uh, do I have animal? I think I do. I wish. I don't have to go and climb all the way Just down. Just will we come across? Crossing gun. Oh shit. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. I know already, Paimon. This is the right place. It must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Maybe it's the way to the Jade Chamber. There's a chest there. Yes, this must be the way. Okay. Uh, how there? Okay. Rasengan! Fly up. And then go down. Oh god, almost fell down. Almost fell down. Huh? It only takes us up to here! Hmm, <laughs> I don't uh, know. If that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go! Best we go back to Liu and ask the mill huh? with. Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret or. If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Okay. Alright, let's follow your plan. Then we can... We can what? Oh, hang on a moment. 
Look down there! What's going on? Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista! Hmm... Uh, Paimon has a new idea! You're gonna shoot Why the fucking... Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber <laughs> using the Ballista? I knew it! <laughs> Do you really hate me that much? Uh, no! Paimon may have just forgotten to God damn it, I thought about it as well. <laughs> Save to measure. Still, I do remember that Ballista had a scope. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's like, another way shoot up nearby. Like shoot above and then like climb a rope. Yeah. Shit. Don't know. Do you get it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Empty chest. What Good is that? Story. Sky Rider Great Sword. Oh shit. How am I gonna get back up there? Oh, there's a. Ah oh, shit. Right. <laughs> Do I have Geo? Hell yeah, Eugene. So, <laughs> what? What was that? Oh! 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 Okay. Alright, head over to the Guijin Ballista. How am I gonna get up there? Useful? Alright, let's go down there, I guess. I'm just out of the middle of it. Let's replace the three chow. What's her name again? I don't like her. Yunjin. Chivalry will never die. Chivalry will never die. Am I gonna go up down? Okay. Halt! Halted. Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? What? We're just passing through. Hallowed what? These are the wilds, Mount Shanghai. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? Uh, am I no. lagging? Wait, maybe this was Ningguan's plan all along! Capture us? She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a Melolith ambush here to arrest us! But, um, <laughs> I'm quite sure that's not the case. We haven't explained the invitation to them yet. Uh, now Paimon's mad! You, over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! <laughs> what? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Alright, uh, it's a good thing that I switched to Shinkyu. Guys, I fucked up a fucking... Uh... I fucked up a fucking treasure hoarder last time here. Trying to poke Razor, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Stop! <gasps> What's all this about? It's... It's kicking! <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a cough. I can't laugh. Lady Kuching, these two strange it's people suddenly kicking. appeared. They seem to huh? have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Kuching. We were just looking for the way to the Jade mm. Chamber. Kicking. You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? Kicking. <laughs> A guess here to look for the Liu Chixing. Who are you? <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Liu Chixing. Oh. I'm Kuching, the Yuheng of the Chixing. The Yuheng of the Chixing. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. <laughs> wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that. That was Li. <laughs> These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Thinking isn't hard, Paimon. Anyway, for a mortal Jesus. to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. Uh, that was... That was Zhongli. <laughs> Shush, Paimon, don't complicate the matter. We only did a tiny part of work there. Huh? Oh, right. Keep your so, mouth shut, Lady Paimon. Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Okay. Just call me Kuching. Kuching. 
I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Mm, Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't Respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. A chance you could talk it out with them, Ningguang would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Well, for Ningguang, yeah. she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyu? <sighs> Another super Makes sense. bold statement. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. <laughs> the cream of Li Yue's mercantile the crop cream. also ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? Paimon, that's not a point. Paimon, get serious. But, but... But what? Wait, that's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Liyue's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Lewis. Oh my god, Byman. Alright, alright. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. By shooting you the fucking... You actually have to come to Mount Tianhung. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Yuehai well Pavilion. May we meet again, Traveler. Alright. Well, that Yu Hung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. She made a good impression on me too. I agree with some of her views. Yeah. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You really shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night. Sugar frosted slime! <laughs> Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? So, do you have the recipe and how would you make this thing you dreamed of? With a certain boom shakalaka of oh, course! Oh, me chungling? Let's go gather ingredients! Oh. Time waits for no one and neither will our riches! Oh my god, Paimon, you're such a <laughs> Oh my god, Paimon! Oh, where is... Uh, where am I going? Where's the statue? Oh, there it is. Okay, we gotta go down there. Uh, I guess we unlock the statue first, and then we're gonna do the ingredient shit. Alright, let's do that. Alright, let's go up there. Treasure hoarders! Treasure hoarders! Kill them! Boom! Boom! What the fuck? That was big damage. Big damage by Razor. Big damage. These things useful. Alright, let's unlock this and then we go into the world opens itself before those with noble hearts. A messing. Boom! We unlock that area. Let's offer some geo kolai, kolaki lokai. 
We don't have one. All right, let's go. All right, let's go in the down there. Where is it? The closest one is here. All right, let's wish actually. Gun, you come home. Boom! Ah, shit. No Ganyu, still. <laughs> Should I go all out and, like, get Ganyu or, or like, any 5-star character? I can, actually. I have, like, uh, should I, or should I buy the sword? Or Razor, you know? It's a really good sword for Razor. Should I focus on getting a 5-star character, like Ganyu? <gasps> And very dead. That's the one. <laughs> dead. We got it, Pyman. He's dead as fuck. Oh shit. Did you guys see that? It was tracing. What? May? Leave me alone. I mean, Liwa. 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 Alright. What? Huh? Is it just Pyman? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? It's raining, what the fuck? Did you hear that? It's someone's sound called help, someone was singing? Uh, no, that was definitely someone in trouble. It came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. Treasure hoarders. Like the treasure hoarders have locked someone inside. These are the guys that killed fucking uh, childish Jiang. I forgot his name already. Parents, you know? You will all die, piece of shit. Huh? How dare you do that to peaceful people in the way. Uh, hello? Meng Dan. Let's free him. Use the key. Don't know where I got the key, but okay. Meng Dan? <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. <laughs> rearrange my oh, face. I was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. There's really no need. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Knickknacks. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Your goodwill is enough for Wait me. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? Oh, We'd okay. Like a pretty one, the kind that you can use to store snacks. Makes sense. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without antique gift boxes? Box. At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now, just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package. Oh, I look nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go and... Oh, I've been recording for 30 minutes. I can go all out on this banner, bro. I should. I really should. I'm really tempted. I am so sorry for, like, the weapons. Fuck the weapons. I just want Ganyu. I already have the weapon. A good weapon and a good character. Let's... <gasps> Oh, it's Favonius. Okay, I thought it's Ganyu. Alright, uh, how many wishes did we do now? We're almost close at Pity. 50-50 Pity. I forgot about that weapon. I think it's for Barbara. Alright, let's go back up there, guys. Where is that? Oh, let's go back to the leeway. Alright, I'm back, guys. Welcome back. Yes, I know. I'm almost AR30. When I reach AR30, I'm gonna do the do start doing the mains for I guess Razor and Yanfei. Not sure actually. Wait, let me check right real quick. Oh, it's here. Okay. 
Hello. Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, Man, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Damn. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep. It's great. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? What happened to sure. that voice Please there? help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Am I lagging? Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. Mm -hmm. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now. Into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Mm. Oh, ooh, that looks cute, actually. A sugar frosted slime. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! It does look. It's still not sold. So it's. I'm still not sold on this gift idea. Uh, it Great. looks cute. Now that we've put all of this got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Ningguang. Alright, let's see. Let's meet Ningguang, guys. I've been playing for 49 minutes, almost an hour. Oh my god, we're finally gonna go there. Alright. Finally gonna meet Ningguang. And then we're gonna end that episode. Yo, King! Hello! Proud rumbling. Can I help you? Proud rumbling. What was that noise? Oh! It's just my tummy right? rumbling. Because rumbling. I'm always hungry. So it's always grrr, rumbles. Grrr. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Should I run and get you a bite to eat? That would be amazing. Right now, I could go for a... Brrr. I could go murder for a... Grrr. I'm also getting a real craving for... That should do it. Thank you so much. Hey, I got your food. Shit. Oh, uh, no. See the same dialogue. It seems like... Enjoy us! I guess hungry as fuck! <laughs> Stuck to this guy? No? Okay. We gotta go up there where the... Red of parting took place. Madame Peng! I bet she's sleeping now, so let's take their flowers and shit. Xiang Xiang, what's up? Greetings, traveler. Yeah, but, but, but uh, I don't know what the, about Rex Lapis did. Rex Lapis, you know, I saw him once in a crowd. He was disguised as a commoner, so nobody noticed. But I could tell from the way he carried out himself, everything about him was so dignified and graceful. How did I know it was him, to be honest? I can't for sure know. But I believe that everyone in Liyue can recognize the one who founded our nation and watched over us for millennia, even if it was a silhouette. I'm honestly still struggling to accept his death. Now I'll never know for sure whether it was really him. We're not really supposed to discuss it, to be honest. But if you can't get things off your chest, how can you expect to move on? <sighs> if anyone asks, though, we'd never had this conversation. Amazing! Chan Chan. This is where he died. This was our episode 1 in Liu Wei. Hello, Feng Yan, Melodist Sergeant. At your service. Uh, what are you doing? I am in charge of patrolling the area around Yan Yan Temple. This is where we hold the right of the central. We must pay at special attention to safety measures. When I was young, I accompanied my father to take for several rites in the order to see Rick Lapis at the appearance. The majesty and divinity of Rex Lapis at the right made a deep impression on me. One that stayed with me in my entire life, for my personality to the path I've chosen in my life. <sighs> Look at me. One slip of my tongue and I end up saying so much. If you see anything unusual, please free to let me know. I can't speak. Don't know why. Where are the beards here? Beards. <laughs> oh, we gotta talk to this guy. Who's this? Bullion. Nice mustache. Bro. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Add astrabasis. Do you sell the moon here? <laughs> what? What? Yes. How many would you like? What? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. 
Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that we were Lady climbing Mewong and shit, and this is what's the old Jesus? Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuhang. What's going on here? What? Can you didn't fucking say any codes? <gasps> We're here. And there she is. Oof, mama. Pizzeria. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyeon Karst. <sighs> ah, so beautiful. Uh, it's Ningguang. Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. So, oh, for oh, me. Oof. You have my. Oh my god, baby, so beautiful. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guest. Beautiful. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Beautiful, nice place. This jade chamber. Place this high up. Nope. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. I like you too. This palace floats in the skies, I higher want... than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianxuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. This Chuan Xuan does not lack for ambition. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke uh -huh, of the As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wang Shu Inn. Damn. Uh, wait! Was Virgildet one of your people? Virgildet. <laughs> Just Virgildet? No. Everyone at Wang Shu Inn is one of ours. Ew! <laughs> Fuck! We also ran out into the Yuhang not long ago. Oh, at the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you were peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> <laughs> I fear that peeking oh God, so been a pretty. little difficult from this altitude. So cute. Our oh, eyes and ears so, are no, more than sufficient. Cute. So pretty. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Catching said that the cheesing would not wish ill on Rick's Well, I is. wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Like what? What misunderstandings? Mount Shangheng. Oh god, Ning Wang. Uh, so pretty. We're dating right now. <sighs> Wanna have sex here? Oh, it's my sunrise. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, God. Oh, shit, Ning Wong. Oh. The sunrise <laughs> and the music. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> it's perfect, god damn it. Oh I keep watch. You Shut leave, up, Razor. You call me. You're ruining it. Oh, that's so cute. The sun has risen, my lady. I right, stalked her. Damn I that was that perfect. You've heard of the Archon War. Uh rings a bell? Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. I'm glad you didn't die, baby. In the end, 
Only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Fucking Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those, those are days. Spears. Gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? What well, headache, Sylvia, then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, to play the spider while our foes scurry about. But who's this enemy you're talking about? Patoi? What do you think, Traveler? It's him. It's him, isn't it? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, uh huh? <sighs> My the eye. scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within <sighs> are complete. So please, this way. I'll follow you, baby. You're going through your bread? Hell yeah. Ningguang is suspicious of someone that is called him. Walking around Liwei, him. <laughs> I guess you you know already. Wow, what a huge haul! Look at this shit, bro. I've never seen such a fancy place before. Damn. It's uh wow wow so many scriptures scrolls what is this a lantern lamp what's up girls wanna have sags no they won't talk to me god damn it okay where's Ningguang girls oh that's our gift for her <laughs> she kept it hey right, there's uh let's get on there oh shit look at this shit More girls, hell yeah, love it. Hey, what are you doing, baby? Oh, you're cleaning it? Okay. Hey, what's up, girl? Cleaning it? Very good, very good. It's a little dusty here. You should clean this here. So this is the jade chamber, obviously. In the inside of the jade chamber. And that's Ningguang. I am the boss now. Oh, wait. Sorry about that. I am the boss now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, hello, boobies. Ooh, oh, Ningguang, what are you doing there? Ooh, hello. I am boss now. <laughs> Razor is boss. I can't zoom out. Razor is boss. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go and talk to Ningguang. These are the papers that was... Uh, you know, on the video thingy. If uh, Ningguang like... Uh, uh, like tore it. I'm stealing your books, Ningguang. Can I sit here? Baby, come here. Sit on my lap. No? Okay. Let's talk to her. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. I wish! I would Can love to. Really? My man. I have invited you two here as friends. 
And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment C comes first. Come over to Naturally. play. Naturally. Is that what you think it is? Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching, well, between your orthodoxy and her heterodoxy, I'd go with Kaching and her skepticism of the divine. I don't know. <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? No. Uh, no, I'd pick I you. Have a feeling. I'd pick you. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say it's that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. A samurai surmise that the Fatui has a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Diamond's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. Oh my so god, Paimon. does that include us? Seriously, Paimon? <laughs> it's alright. I like direct people. Oh god, she's well, a kid. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick, I'll pick any you. object here as you please. I'll pick Ningguang. And you may take it with you. I'll take you wherever Yay! I go. Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? Let's take Ningguang. <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall. Uh, Ningguang, let's take Ningguang. Don't Ning look at Paimon like that. One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's She's only so as large greedy. as Paimon's fingernail. She's so greedy. Just, Just imagine, how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. God. Let's grab one, the biggest... This is the biggest so, one. Have you? You don't have to confirm it with me. Just choose one and take it. Oh my God! Afterwards, I'm... why not sit down for a while in the Jade Chamber, or have a short stroll? Rest is also an integral part of any journey. It's time we made a move. See you. All right then. I hope the next time we meet, you will either have already done the right thing, or will be about to make the right call. It's like she's saying goodbye and shit. Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. What's Ooh, that? Could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. That's so annoying. Ah, oh, Byman. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. 
This piece of paper shows that a Qixing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Who gave us the oh, sigil of permission? Wang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. <laughs> Seems there's still more for us to find out. Just steer us in there. It's unfolding a little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? Oh, I know so. Well, should we not go then? No, what I mean is we should oh, go. Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm... That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Mm. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Alright, uh, I've been recording for an hour and ten minutes now. And I'm still not done with these quests. Papers now. Head to the location mark the, on the papers now. Uh, this is going to be a long episode. Uh, I hope you guys don't uh, mind about it. But it's really bad to end it here, right? <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's bad. You know, you know, we met that childish Zhuang Juing. I forgot his name. And we met we met Kaching. We met Ningguang. We we entered the Jade Palace, and now we're going. Oh my god, Paimon just fucking annoys me right there, man. So annoying. Jesus, relax, you know? Okay, let's go there. Let's teleport. Why am I going there? I don't understand. Let's try to make this video short as much as possible. I've been recording for an hour already. I guess it was the climbing that made it long. There's a lot of Fatui's here. There really were Fatui at the location written down on this piece of paper. Shut up, Eugene. I don't like you. I never did. I don't like her, bro. What is this? Examine the Fatui research. There are so many talismans here. And some stacks of blank paper, too. Hmm. What are they for? Looks like they're copying the pattern talisman. Reproduced talisman. I haven't seen this pattern before. Sigil permission. Where? Sigil permission, probably. Oh, Paimon knows! It looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Oh, no, child. Mm. But how did a relic of the adept die end up in the hands of someone like child? Fatui, he's a Fatui. It's not just a relic. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Geo created the sigil of permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew, that sounds pretty dangerous. Seems the Fatui are differently up to something. Maybe this paper is on a snippet of a much bigger plan. And yeah. the plot thickens. We'll need to keep an eye on child, that's for sure. There we go. Hmm. Alright, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. The last stop on our Rite of Parting Preparations Tour is Dihua Marsh. Marsh. All Let's right. go! Paimon hates being late. And then we're gonna go and meet Zhang Li at Dihua Marsh. Uh, I guess we do that and then we're gonna end that episode there. Because Paimon said that, that, that that's the last stop. What? What? I thought... Okay, uh, we're going there, I guess. Oh wait, there's a closer one. What? I'm so confused. I'm so lost right now. Uh, let's talk to Zhongli. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Fancy schmancy. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? 
What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. Oh, Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when it suits their interests. Yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tactless Yu Hung is more trustworthy than her. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu and Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> no respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing, although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Ningguang is highly intelligent. Ningguang is highly ambitious. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianquan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second. What's the most important thing to her then? Liu. Why, Mora, of course. <laughs> Makes sense. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they're trying to reproduce the sigil permission. <sighs> No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. So, is there anything we need to get for the Rite of Parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze, glaze lilies. lilies. Glaze lilies? But why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yuji have wild glaze them? lilies. Even Chingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right! Paimon remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Paimon Those is annoying me right now. Those garden by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must Still grind up the wild fragrance. lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. Okay. So you need me to sing? <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Oh shit, what? Your singing will surely bring out the strongest fragrance from the flowers. What? Uh, so how good is your singing? I can hold it. I'm pro. Just step back and listen. Really? Trust me, shut up, only kid. Know once he starts singing. He starts singing. Oh, oh, these are the wild li glazed lilies. It's time to sing. Whenever you're ready. Hella sir, the bastard pine, learn a man to burn his pine, and leber de la bella bella pine. Da 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 da. What the fuck? <laughs> that was barbarous thingy. Da 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 I wonder... Oh, wait, sorry. Wait, let me try that on my own voice. Da 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 Ah, amazing. What happened? Oh, These oh, hello. They look really angry. Is this because you sing a song for Mondstadt that they don't understand here in Leland? 
Da 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 I'm gonna freeze. Da 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 those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit people. The slaughter split up a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Oh, that's so lame. Excuse me. <gasps> Are you searching for glaze lilies? Wild glaze lilies. Oh, hey, it's what's your face? Uh, Greetings, young. I can't remember. <laughs> Yangu. <laughs> Hello, traveler. Yangu. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Of course, I'll never forget you, Coco Go. Uh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Very beautiful. Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. nope. We found the way on our own. It's a secret. Perhaps you assume we knew? Guess it was our fault for us. Oh, okay. I see. Uh oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. It's okay. <sighs> about Ganyu. Let me, uh... She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Are we doing Ganyu's story now? Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> what? Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Uh, Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So that means... Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. Nope. The other we five, met including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 oh, years ago. Oh, okay, never mind. Of the current Seven Archons... The youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. Oh, the fuck? This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden, I... <sighs> As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think She's I an eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Just horns. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. So you're half killing? This explains the horns. So you're how old now? That explains the forgetfulness. Well, uh... Let's save that conversation for another time. <laughs> you say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? Uh, sh yes. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. Okay. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. 
I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo ballad to it. What? Wow, what? so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Ganyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Jean, you seem suited to working in agricultural yeah, department. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Lille. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. Alright, I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Alright. Let's go back to Liyue. I'm. Oh, it's already a, one hour and thirty minutes. Why is there a photo there? Uh, why are they? Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Milleth and the Fatui. Felix. Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor, Mr. Zhongli, I presume. Yes. The Milleth are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? Desperate times. The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. Damn, Zhongli's voice. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Yeah. <sighs> That's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Aww. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Qixing for you. Makes sense. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. Off guard? Why, why did Zhongli do that? Is there anything we can do? We can just stand by and watch. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Sword joke. Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. What? Things are taking a turn for the worse. What the fuck? I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <laughs> okay, everything's getting fucked now. <gasps> with the what's gonna happen? I already know what's gonna sword. happen. <laughs> It's a story you can never forget once you experience it. You know, Mr. More Money Than Sense Ginger Guy Childy. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. Yep, it's him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Oh, sorry, it's the music. There's only one place he would go. The bank. It's the music. Leave me alone. The golden house. Oh, dear. 
All right, I'm gonna have to end that episode there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, I'm gonna end that there because shit is about to get fucked real hard. <laughs> This was supposed to be a chill place you're going visiting Ningguang. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, share this to your friends. And uh, next time we're gonna go to the golden house here where shit is going to get real fucked. <laughs> so yeah, um, everything's starting to make sense. Huh? Charlie's versus. And leave a like, subscribe. I said that already. But I'll, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Genshin Impact. Bye. Uh, 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 press F's on the chat for uh, yeah, the, what's his name again? Childish Joang Ching. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know his name, for God.